The digital world is different. We expect to be able to find the information we want 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. We expect to compare different products and find the best available price. And we expect to give feedback on the service we have received and know that it'll be taken seriously because it can be seen by potential customers all around the globe. Digital empowers the consumer, disrupts businesses and challenges our basic assumption about the way in which our economy works. Uber, the world's largest taxi company, doesn't own a single vehicle. Airbnb, the world's largest accommodation provider, doesn't own a single hotel. Alibaba, the world's largest retailer, doesn't hold a single item of stock. And none of these companies were in business 20 years ago. This is the world in which our young people must grow and flourish, in which our industries compete, in which our public services will be judged. And we are making good progress towards becoming the country that people turn to when they want to see digital excellence in action. A partnership of local and national government has helped bring access to superfast broadband to over 95% of premises in Scotland. And we will make it 100% by the end of 2021. We have laid enough cable to stretch from Glasgow to Kathmandu. How that'll benefit them, you know, maybe somebody's got to escape somebody in Australia every day or their kids have moved away from home, so yeah, it does, it is better. Where I used to have to think about the technology and whether I was going to be getting the service and the times of days when I should, the time of the day when I should be sending things, now I don't even have to think about it. I just, get on with the business. Free Wi-Fi is now available in around 500 public libraries. And in the centre of Glasgow, which attracts a vast number of visitors, eager to discover what the city has to offer. Scotland welcomes the opportunity to pilot and assess innovative solutions to the challenges of connectivity. But it's the skills and creativity of our people that will ensure that we realise this potential. Our universities attract students from all over the world. Their former students are behind the growth of billion dollar companies such as Skyscanner and FanDuel. She has come into our organisation and hit the ground running. It's, we've been blown away by how much she could take on um, from, the, the, from the second day arrived helping us with ideas and he's just he's just part of the team. The Cold Clan environment is a perfect environment for training developers and constantly being in that challenging environment I think has really prepared him possibly better than an undergraduate course can. Get involved and help shape the future of Cold Clan so that it's delivering to us in the sector what we need. I think they're very open-minded, they, they want to hear from us um, as industry partners and they're, they're willing to listen. Let's make it the thing that changes Scotland, that delivers that growth. Over 200 organisations have now signed Scotland's Digital Participation Charter, committing themselves to working together to tackle this digital divide. The Let's Get On campaign has provided access to training courses across the country and a partnership between government and SCVO has provided grants to hundreds of community projects, giving people the confidence and incentive they need to get online for the first time. Public services have also begun to take advantage of the opportunities of the digital age. The Scottish approach to service design challenges all of us to put users at the heart of the process of design. Whilst our new Digital First standards will ensure that services are developed in an agile way, with open standards and clear performance criteria. At a national level, we are building an ecosystem of shared processes and common technologies that will make it easier to deal with government and cheaper to build services in the future. MyGov.Scot offers a single access point to information and services provided by the public sector. Wherever you look across the Scottish public sector, you will find teams working in new, agile ways and challenging long-held assumptions about the way in which we develop and deliver services. Cloud hosting, 
agile project management, daily stand-ups, and the innovation continues. We have just launched CivTech, the world's first public service incubator, to give entrepreneurs the chance to address public sector problems and build businesses capable of selling their ideas to governments around the world. So the digital world is different. It's volatile and unpredictable. But over the past few years, Scotland has laid the foundations of continuing success. The challenge for all of us, the challenge for the leaders of Civic Scotland, is to build on these foundations and ensure that our country realises its full potential in the digital world.